Hey guys, Cyberblade here, and welcome back to another Xenoverse 2 tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the basics on the Xenoverse 2 costume creator, but I'm also going to be using the skill creator as well, because I tend to use both of these to make my custom transformations. So, let's get to it. Okay, so now, basically what you want to do is you want to take your custom skill, like your transformation skill, and then you want to right-click it, click it, and then open it with WinRAR, or whatever you use to open up your skills and files and stuff. And then, as you see, it says costume attachment. And in that file, you'll have a uh, Xenoverse 2 kind of file thing, which is your costume. Which is basically, it basically tells you that if any of these values, whether it be the face, the eyes, the hair, the bust, whatever, Whatever value it reads right here will make you transform into said item, go on your transformation. I guess that's that's kind of how I can really explain it. I don't I don't really know how to explain the tech, technicalities, but it's just kind of what I've been doing. For example, I when I did the fully mastered Super Saiyan, um, I basically took the original transformation from Shikaro and them and then just reworked it by adding in a like a, a shirtless mode and then the Super Saiyan 4 hair, which as you can see here for the bust, I have my 827, which is the, the custom bust right here, 827, and then the Gohan hair plus the tail, which adds the everything. And then you just gotta basically transfer the values, these two right here, so model, model value and model two value. And those two numbers have to match in order for the skill to say, hey, I gotta turn, I gotta use these to transform. And then basically after you're all done with all this, you edit it, you get it all set up, ready to go, you wanna save it, and then it'll, it'll save into that file. And then how you import that file, you can do it two ways. You can either go into the skill creator, open up your skill, and then transfer it right here. So you can remove and then set the new one. So, for instance, you know, you remove, and then you set, and then it'll go into the file, hopefully, that has all your other ones, and you would click on the costume, you do it, and then you would click, instead of link, you'd want to click embed. You click embed because then it, it, it'll always be there. It'll be in the file, in the transformation skill, and you'll be good to go. For all this to work properly, with a little bit of testing, I've found that you basically want to open up that, you want to open up your skill file, and then in this file right here, jungle, data, care, cube, you basically want to put, see how it has the 827 right here, and then the 250 right here. You basically want to put those files into that skill itself. That way, the costume, create, uh, the costume file knows when I'm transforming, these are the skills that I need to go, and that way when you install your skill, it'll install the files into your game, making everything work, per se. Um, I will show you a demonstration right now. Alright, now that we're in game, as you can see, I have my full Master Super Saiyan skill ready to go, and then just... And so as you can see, I have the Super Saiyan 4 hair for Gohan, and then the custom bust as well, basically giving it that fully mastered Super Saiyan look. Um, from my one of my previous videos um, that's kind of it that, I don't really know how to like create a costume from scratch I'm sure it's fairly easy as long as you do some copy and pasting and stuff like that um, I really hope this tutorial was a little bit informative for most people I know it wasn't a lot um, but thank you all for watching um, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe for more and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.